Welcome to Scene 5 of Spy Harmony, written by Wolfgang Schuler and registered with the Writers Guild of America East on December 21, 2015, under registration number 1284429. This is a work of fiction. Any similarities to persons living or dead or actual events is purely coincidental. It is now afternoon. We see Agent Ferguson entering the Portsmouth Towers Hotel lobby. He heads to the hotel bar and sits down. A pretty woman is sitting nearby. Agent Ferguson's mic app is still on unbeknownst to him, and a curious Agent Balboni is still listening in. The bartender asks Agent Ferguson what he would like to drink. Good afternoon. What's your pleasure, sir? Sex on the beach, red-headed slut, bend over surely? All of those, but I'd rather have a drink if you don't mind. Ah, yeah, of course. What would you like to drink? I'll have a long, slow, comfortable screw up against a wall, please. Yeah, of course. Right on. The bartender now turns to make the drink. The pretty young woman sitting at the bar now leans towards Agent Ferguson, smiles and says, I couldn't help overhearing your alluring accent. Where are you from? Australia. Your English is very good. Agent Balboni, still listening in, says to herself, No, don't touch her. Meanwhile, Agent Ferguson seems a little perplexed and says, Oh, you think I said Austria? No, I said Australia. Right, yeah, so, handsome. What brings you to New Hampshire? What do you do for a living? A plane brought me to New Hampshire, and I'm in the cake business. Fascinating. Not working this afternoon? No, taking a little break. Want to do something fun? Sure. Now the pretty young woman whispers something in Agent Ferguson's ear, as his phone suddenly rings. Excuse me a second while I take this call. Yes? You know she's a hooker, right? What? Where are you? Are you watching me? You left your mic on. Baza! Oh, she's not my type anyway. But you know, love the one you're with. Don't catch anything. <laughs> Seriously, don't catch anything, okay? Yes, dear. Sorry. That was the missus. She says she's going to cut my penis off. Put it in a blender and feed it to the chickens if she catches me fooling around. That's horrible. Aren't you scared of her? Nah. No worries. We don't have any chickens. I, I have to go. See ya. Agent Ferguson goes back to his room alone. A little while later, we see Agent Balboni in her apartment. She's now wearing shorts and a singlet, sitting cross-legged on the bed with her computer and phone, Bluetooth earpod in her ear. There's a Guy Fawkes mask next to her, just like the one that Anonymous wears. We see what is on her computer screen. She's looking at Agent Ferguson's profile. Back in Agent Ferguson's hotel room. He's now sitting at a desk. On the computer, we see a computer website screen. Spy Harmony. We see Agent Ferguson signing up for Spy Harmony, a dating site for lonely spies. He starts taking selfies, many selfies, various poses, weird poses. There's a sign-up screen. We see his answers to the questions. Spy name, Barry Ferguson, spy agency, Australian Secret Intelligence Service, spy status, active, in good standing, spy geography, Australia will travel, seeking female. Agent Balboni is still listening in on Agent Ferguson's open mic on his phone. She hears a lot of keyboard clicks and the occasional unintelligible mumble like he's answering some sort of questionnaire. She is now wearing the Guy Fawkes mask. Back in Agent Ferguson's hotel room, we see him now scanning through potential dates on the Spy Harmony dating site. As he scrolls, we hear him saying, Oh, geez, no, no, yuck, fugly, she's cute. Oh, yeah, what a cunning stunt. Then he suddenly sees Agent Balboni listed and says, Crikey, what are you doing here? Agent Ferguson now exits Spy Harmony and searches for cat videos. He knows Agent Balboni is probably still listening to him. Searching for some pussy videos. Oh yeah, that's what I need. Check out those pussies. Ha ha ha. Oh, for... what are you doing? This is the end of Scene 5 of Spy Harmony. Join us next time for the grand finale from the movie Screenplay. Written by Wolfgang Schuler and registered with the Writers Guild of America East on December 21st, 2015, under registration number 1284429. This is a work of fiction. Any similarities to persons living or dead, or actual events, is purely coincidental.